Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Adventure Quest news. We have the whole list of updates for all of July that were just put on the sign note. So I'll go through that list with you guys today on this video. Let's get started in 3, 2, this way forever. I'm all right, so I'm on the side notes, and Elena posted all of this good, good, good information. So it says we had a lot of momentum in the past month in AQW with our Bacon Cat vs. Laser Shark release and the Throne of Darkness Death Arena, the Galactic Defender June bonus gear, which is only available until July 1st or June 20, June 30th at midnight, whatever the last day of June is. Yeah. So it's only available till then, or maybe not midnight, maybe someday, sometime on June 1st. But uh, if you want the package, you got to get that before July 1st, guys. Uh, the Galactic Defender June bonus gear and the Warcraft Rare Shop. June has been insane good news. July is going to be even crazier. All right, all right, all right. So on July 1st, we have the Throne of Darkness Infinity Shield. Don't know exactly what that is. Uh, I guess we'll see on July 1st. The Falcon Commander Upgrade Bonus Gear is also coming out on July 1st. Uh, that's right here. Uh, the only part I really like about it personally is the uh, wings. I think those are pretty cool, along with the cape. Well, I guess the cape is part of the wings, or maybe that's part of the armor. Who knows? But those look pretty cool. And hopefully there's a variation without the that or without those. So that would be cool if that is a thing. On July 6th, we have the Hero Mart in-game store arrives. So that's just gonna be probably a new addition to Battleon, maybe? Oh, that'd be cool if it was a new addition to Battleon. We haven't had the, one of those since they rehauled Battleon a while back. So that would be cool. Um, and if you don't know what Hero Mart is, uh, www.heromart.com is where you can buy like in real life like t-shirts and uh, that's where you get Card Clasher and the calendar classes and the calendars and all that stuff. You get that at heromart.com. Uh, so. I guess it's going to put an in-game version of that store into the game. Maybe there'll be some special items in like a, a gold shop or an AC shop in game too, which would be cool. Uh, we have the Throne of Darkness 4 Dimensional Pyramid on July 8th. So we're getting a, ooh, we're getting an update on July 6th and then another update on July 8th. Okay, so that's like a midweek update. Nice. Also on July 6th, summer's, Summer Rares with surfboards oh my god okay so the surfboards come every year they're very cool they're always in summer and they have really nice art designs on the side of them uh you don't see a lot of people carrying them around but there's some really cool rare ones if you look up like surfboards on the wiki there's some really really cool rare ones uh so i'm definitely excited to see what surfboards will be out on july 8th along with the black hole priest limited limited time shop not quantity okay so limited time shop Black Hole, so that'll probably be in the game for two or three weeks. Um, Throne Darkness Pyramid Maze Puzzle. Don't like puzzles, not a fan. That's on July 15th. Uh, the Internal Rep Class Variant plus Custom Surfboard Raffle. That sounds pretty fun. Um, so I guess uh, raffles before in Adventure Quest have been, you go to, uh, what's her name? I'll, I'll show you in game right now. So you go to Battle On. And uh, right here you talk to her and she'd have a raffle ticket in her shop, in Joy's shop. Like uh, right in the same time where the treasure map is. And uh, yeah, like at the end of the month, one person gets picked out of that raffle. And I'm guessing in this situation, they would win a custom surfboard. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, so that's on the 15th, uh, plus a new class, the Eternal Rep class. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be from either Infinity Shield or the yeah one of these updates. One of those updates, that's where that's going to be from. So uh, that means we have a reason to get rank 10 in those areas, I guess. Um, July 22nd, Stone Darkness, Scarlet Artifact Hunt. So that's right here. And this guy is the fourth dimensional pyramid and that's Scarletta, I guess is her name. Horrible at pronouncing names. But yeah, so that's what's happening on the 22nd. Also on the 22nd, we have the huge suggestion shop slash, slash quest update plus event rare shop. Hmm. Okay, so that's coming out the same day as 
the artifact hunt, so same day as the release. That's the release day. Huge suggestion shop. Huge, all caps. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that's just going to add a bunch of items to the suggestion shop and the quest update. Is that an update to all the quests? To some quests? Is there new quests? Do these change the old quests? I guess we'll have more information around the 22nd of July. Um, and event rare shop. So that's just the rare shop from that, that event right there. Uh, my best guess at least. And then we have the Throne of Darkness Tower of Mirrors. And the Mysterious Stranger Quibble Shop. Which is the last thing on the 29th of July. So that's a whole month of July. Summed up in a few words. Um, definitely. More news on next week. Of course I'll keep you up to date on all the news on my channel. And also leaving this Friday is the June Rare Gear items, which is all the pink gear, like the pink uh, flame cape and the pink uh, flame hands and all the armors and all that stuff will be going away on the last day of June, I guess, or the first day of July. And the June upgrade bonus package, I already talked about this, so Galactic Defender and Commander sets will be gone. I have those in-game. I don't think I've ever showed them on my channel in-game except for on a stream. So here's what the package looks like if you want to know what it looks like if you don't already have the package i don't have like the the 12 month uh member package a 12k ac package i just have the 10 dollar base package that if you spend 10 dollars you get um the galactic defender so th this is what's in the package i think he's liking right now kind of looks similar to the uh next month package to be honest like you got the <laughs> you got the cape with that thing in the middle and then you get the cape without the thing in the middle and Okay, I guess that's an extra part and you got the armor and the helmet and it kind of looks just like <laughs> This set to be honest. It's like a re retexture basically. I'm, I know it's different I know it's different, but they look pretty similar So um, yeah, that's the news for today guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like comment down below your thoughts what do you think the, uh, uh, what is it, the quest update will be? I have no clue. I have no clue. If anyone has any more information on that, that'd be interesting. That's probably the most interesting thing about this, uh, whole thing is the quest update. Plus, I'm curious what the, what items are going to add to the shop and what the Hero Mart in-game store will look like. I think they did art for the Hero Mart in-game store before, uh, if you look on J6's Twitter. Um, I think if we go way back on J6 Twitter, you can find the art, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be in Battle On. So, I wonder if they're going to have any special items that you can only get in-game from the Hero Mart uh, store. So, that's it. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace, and bye. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.